Hey, uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Tazman's to the Sky. And in our last episode, we um, advanced further in our, our quests of Batania, and uh, we made we made Alf still, actually. Yes, I remember we did make Alf still. And in this episode, we are going to work more on our, our Alf still quests. And hopefully, if everything goes well, I think it should, we'll also fight the Gia Guardian for the first time. Now I'm going to tell you right up front, this is probably going to be a pretty easy fight because of the OP armor we have. Um, as I said in the very beginning when we started this series, is my goal is just to have fun. It's to uh, complete the quests and stuff like that. The grind, I don't really care about, and I'm terrible at PvP type stuff. Um, I'm okay at fighting monsters that are PvE. Luckily, this is, there's no PvP here. <laughs> Other words, I would really die. So we're just going to still wear our OP armor because we need to fight the Giga Guardian multiple times. I'll probably do... If we defeat it, uh, which I'm, I'm hoping we can, if I'm not that bad, uh, we should be able to defeat it on our first try, and then we'll just uh, uh, move on from there. But we're going to need a bunch of the uh, Gear Guardian Spirits because we want to be able to um, have our essences. We have the um, all the Modium Essence, the vibranium essence and the unobtainium essence that we need uh, magic dirt and we use the Gia Guardian uh, spirit thingies <laughs> to make that so that is going to be our goal today and hopefully we'll accomplish it all let me just hit that once we'll take a real quick nap a power nap a couple minutes or seconds technically and then we'll come over to our great area here now you will notice uh, part of what we need to do to make our alfs alf armor alf still armor or whatever is kind of like you do with netherite um, uh, you just use one ingot so I didn't I didn't make quite as much alf, uh, alf steel because uh, it's stupid expensive I mean I tried getting all these things back up higher and stuff um, but yeah we I basically made a stack and then everything here is what we've done but all we have to do to uh, upgrade our armor is basically we take our four armor pieces and four of these ingots we throw the armor piece in there we throw whoop, not you sorry not you uh, we go ahead and throw that in and now we have the owl steel boots we have I guess I'm doing it in a weird order that's is that the boots no that's the wait yes the booties um, yeah, I'm doing it in a really weird order. So there's our helmet. That looks like a B to me. Um, and then fine. Oh wait, we've already done the boots. We need to do the legs. Legs. There we go. All right. Um, so let's see how this looks because it might actually kind of look cooler than the armor we're currently wearing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead hit I. We're gonna go to our armor cosmetics, and we'll take that one off. Let's just see how. Cool we look. That is, I need, my eyes kind of mess it up. I kind of look like a, a pig. <laughs> Actually, I can't tell if it's like those might be eyes in the actual armor. Kind of cool, but I like to see my beautiful Tasmanian face. So let's see. But the armor itself actually looks pretty darn cool. So maybe we'll use this as cosmetic item and then use our OP stuff. Uh, look at that, man. I'm rocking it. Um, we'll use our other stuff. Now, where did I put... Oh, but then I can't... Hmm. Just thought of something. I think, is this where I put my other armor? I did. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe we'll do it right, I guess. What was the one I had before? I had the per, did I, hold on. Now I'm confused what I've done. I have the per, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, so yeah, I need. 
I kind of want the armor, so even though it's really cool looking, maybe for a little while we'll keep it this way. So we need, is it this? No. So we have the chest plate. We need the, pur there it is, the purple one. There we go. And then these things we actually can put in our, our other stuff. Because I think it will be kind of cool to have these guys sitting on our stands. I wasn't planning on wasting all this time. But okay, that's all right. Um, wait, I thought I turned back off the hat. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and put on our armor stand, our epic armor. I guess it was my eyes you were seeing. Look how huge that helmet is. That is some cool armor though. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and jump in. We just wasted five minutes. Uh, we're going to upgrade our pylons here, so I think if we go in here, I don't think there was any quest reading to do, but we have now got the Alf, Alf Steel armor, and our next goal, if I remember right, in the order of things is we are now going to make the Alf Steel pylons, and from that we'll end up making the Gaia or Gia pylons, and that will get us to where we can make the Gia spirits, and hopefully... Is it just Gia Spirit? Yeah, Gia Spirit. Hopefully because we have our looting on our sword, we'll actually get a decent amount of those and I don't have to do a ton of fights. But uh, if I do, I do. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the Alf Steel Pylons, which is only takes uh, eight nuggets of Alf Steel, eight gas tears, and eight of those other whatever pylon I just... It is nat Nature of Pylon. I wasn't sure if that's what it actually said. So we'll go ahead and do that, that, and that. And this will give us our ALF steel pylons, which I don't think there was any text here as well. But this is going to get us to the Gaia pylon, uh, a beacon, nine blocks of iron. But this is the big one right here. We're going to take the ALF pylon, surround it by all this pixie dust and the elementium ingots. And uh, that will give us our others, which are these guys right here. Also, I guess we could just do this real quick as well. I don't remember why this guy's sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, this will upgrade our rings as well. Uh, the one we don't really care about and the one we do. Uh, there we go. So uh, this is the greater band of mana, which I think just holds mana. Oops, that and that, that. Oh wait, I think we do this in, our, in here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that and that. Maybe that's what we need. There we go. Alf and the greater. This is as high as it goes, and this is just the best we can get. So now if we come in here and go add this back down here to the rings. We'll just add it to the first ring. Uh, this will actually, it's not going to be a, a great deal faster, but it is going to generate faster our stuff. And we'll just put our other ring in here where it was before. And now let's go upgrade our actual pylons. So I'll go ahead and put those there. I believe it was the ingots on the sides and the dust on the top and bottom. There we go. And I don't, I don't think I have a. Why don't I have a, a thing yet? Um, the beacon. Just obsidian, nether star, and glass. That's what I thought it was. All right, I don't know if we have we we have the obsidian I know I think we have I think we have everything um, so we need obsidian so we'll go ahead and grab that go one two three we'll grab do we have glass in here or is it in our I think it's in our backpack uh, and is the nether star in here that's the real question uh, da -da -da. where's nether star essence we'll just go ahead and make I think it's four of these make it. Do that. Nope, surely not. Oh, it's three. Um, I don't want to put that one in there. I forgot it is three. I knew that too. I'm gonna put this. I don't. I don't want to waste that either. You know what? I'm just gonna throw it off the world. That's how good we are. We can take another star shard and just throw it off the world and not even care. It, it's not even that big of a deal. Um, but we do need from here uh, three. 
four, five, glass. Where did I see glass? Right here. One, two, three, four, five. Like a show. And let's go ahead and make our beacon. So there, there, and there. I thought I already had this made. All right, so now that we have that, um, I think what we do to activate, if I remember right, we actually just right click the thing with the Ferris steel. So I'm gonna grab maybe, let's see what timer are we at? We're at 10 minutes. I'm gonna, gra I'm gonna grab eight. I don't know why, I'm just gonna grab eight. Uh, let's see, what else do we got in here? Um, we can do these in a minute. Uh, we can do that in a minute too. I do not remember what, I think this is something that we get from this that we use here. All right, but let's go ahead and look at our thing. Now I've already mapped out where these pylons go, but if you don't know, you can actually go into the book and I think in the Gaia Guardian area, I think there's a spot in here for the Gaia Gaia Guardian. Well, however you want to call it, however you want to pronounce it, um, there's a section that says what we need to do. And then there's actually one of those things that shows you a ghost imprint of where everything goes. And I'm pretty sure I already, I mean, I did that. These are all same there. Not, okay, here's the red stuff. So it's gonna be in here. Uh, Ritual guy right here. So we have the pylons already. And here you can see, we can actually see that if I do this and line this up right where our, well, it's not gonna let me do it because we already got that there. You'll see that it puts the pylons just floating above these blocks. So yeah, that, that worked out really well. So now if we come here, we put our beacon, boom, right there. We take these guys and do that there, and that there, and that there, and finally that. Oops, nope, not there. <sighs> All right. <laughs> and this one we'll put right there. And I don't know if you need to, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove these blocks underneath. They're just placeholders to help me make sure I could quickly get them where they needed to go. And I don't know if those, I mean, this is still going to be, I can't remember if they stay here. I think the pylons disappear when you're doing this. But if I remember right, now what we do is we take our ingot like this and we right click it. Or not, right click it here, shift right click. No matter how hard you try to push the ingot into the beacon, nothing happens. Perhaps your configuration of catalyst pylons is off. Okay, maybe I did it all wrong. Um, all right, well, let's do this then. We'll go ahead and take our, our bricks. And then right here in the center is where we will... Wow, it, it didn't count my... Oh, because I didn't have the that in my not actually I don't know why it didn't count all right well let's let's do this uh, we'll go ahead and say place this now so we can actually place this in the right spot now did it do it oh they go up one more I was one off dang it all right that's okay I thought we were able to like run underneath that thing so oops that was in the wrong spot There we go, and we'll go ahead and take this, and this, and this, there we go, and then we'll come here to this one, hopefully this is in the right spot, <laughs> actually we can't, uh, let's do this, there we go. Uh, so let's see, this is the right spot right here. So we'll go ahead and step back a couple, one and two, and we'll put the pile on there. Bam. I felt like it was weird that we couldn't run under it. Um, okay, back up, right, I think it was right there. Boom, right there. Unless I just moved a lot. Perfect, I didn't move a lot. Thank you. All 
So let's go ahead and just throw this on here real quick. There we go. And do do do. Right there. Go one and two and one. There we go. And finally, all right. Now we gotta fight the Gear Guardian. Bam! It is complete. All right, well, that's how you use the book. And you'll notice that now if we go back in the book, we don't actually have to un unhide it because it's, I don't think we do anyway. It doesn't look like we do. All right, so now we should be able to right click on this guy. Or is it shift right click, I think. Hopefully that's not too loud. Come here, me. I'm really out of this, by the way. Oh, I forgot about that stuff. Oh, you know what? I am so unprepared. I didn't bring any extra food. Hold on, where's my carrot? I need my carrot. Hold on, time out. Time out. Where am I? I need to hurry up. Wait just a minute. So let's see how many shard, uh, spear, oh my, <laughs> look at our inventory. All right, so yeah, I was completely unprepared for that. It looks like we got an egg for something. Uh, so let's go ahead. We were getting lots of loot for everything we did kill. Uh, I don't think we need any of this stuff. And boy, oh boy, did that music it was kind of loud. I apologize if that was super loud and blew your ears out. I I didn't know it was going to do that. Oh, all right. So let's go see what we got here. We got one of those things. And how many? Eight. That's not bad at all. And we got a skeleton spawn egg. We got a bundle. I don't really care about the shaders. All they do, from what I've seen, all they do is make it so you can make banners. All right, well, that was one time, and other than not being prepared with my armor and stuff, we actually did, oh, I have a lot more stuff. Uh, we actually did pretty good, and we're at 19 minutes, so that's about the right time. So I'm going to fight them a bunch more times. So look at me, I'm a pink cushion. Uh, so that we can actually uh, have a decent amount of these, because our next things are actually going to take a bit. Uh, that we want to make. Uh, but before we go, we're at 19 minutes and 31 seconds. A little more if you add the intro that we usually have. Let's go ahead and make these. So what these are is we're going to be upgrading all of our spreaders to the... Um, L, what are they called? Spreader Pluses. I can't remember their name. Um, so, excuse me. We're going to go ahead and come... I messed that up. Go here, here, and here. 
and then I believe it was this and this and this gives us our elven mana spreaders and I'll, I'll replace all of these these ones I'm just gonna throw off the world because they don't actually work in for any upgrading or anything uh, the next thing we're gonna do let's go look at our quest real quick so we have our spirits I think was there anything down here? What? Oh, I was doing this over here. I remember. So we're gonna uh, get our. This is this is a part I'm not familiar with. I think what this does is kind of gives you a mana network, kind of like we have with our um, with our ME system, because we have these uh, indexes, the Master Spark, and we have the Corporal uh, network. We don't have any quests for the rings, or words anyway. Uh, and let's go ahead and do this. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to upgrade our sparks. And I, I think I just made more sparks, if I remember. No, I only have two, because I only need two for the quest. So we take some of that, throw that underneath, oops, nope, underneath, and that above. And this will give us our corporea, cor, corporea sparks. And then I think that's what this diamond was for, is for one of these types of spark things, which I think is this one. Yes. So this will give us our master spark, which is the, the main one, and then the other one will end up being uh, the other spark. So if we go in here, go ahead and throw this there, and this guy here. And we're going to experiment with this in the next episode, because I don't know a ton about these. But let's go ahead, no no quest reading, no reward. No quest reading, no reward. So that's kind of sad. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna play with these and see what we can figure out about them in the next episode. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and try and beat the Gear Guardian a bunch more times. Uh, it'd be awesome if I ended up getting about a stack of those things, which would be fighting him, what, seven more times? Um, that would be pretty epic. So, uh, that is, I think that's good. I think we're at 22 minutes, and are we now a beat of the Gaia Guardian, or Geek Guardian, however you want to call it. Maybe we'll, we'll do our, our little, I'm really bad at this. Um, uh, back up. <laughs> really bad at navigating with <laughs> third person. I think that's pretty good uh so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up down below aside from that comment like and subscribe click that little notification bell um join my discord channel and tell other people about my channel check it out if they like what they see they can sub we grow the channel everybody wins and that is in my friends until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.